So grouping is basically just to make a group of like a like a combination of objects that we have. Uh, for example, this door, like uh, we are representing it with multiple objects. We're using a polyline and we're using an arc. So I want these objects to kind of move together and like make this a group. So to do that, it's very simple. You just select the objects that you want and you just type G and then that will group them. And now when you select it, you will see like it will show you a box and like the you don't see the rest of the control points anymore you have one control point that allows you to move the group together okay and it's pretty handy uh, because you know i think it's cool to always group like uh, objects when you need to it just makes it easy to move things together now if you want to ungroup this you basically select this and then you type u and g or you type the whole thing ungroup and that will bring them back to be individual objects uh, and one more thing to know about the groups uh, is, let's say like after you created the group and you want to add more to this group, how do we add more objects? So to do that, just select the group that you want to work with, you right click, and then from this window here, you will see there's a group uh, list of commands. So here you have the option to add to group, click on that, and then AutoCAD is going to ask you to select the object. So let's say I want to add these guys as well. And now that I'm done, I'm going to finish my selection by typing return. Then I'm going to select one of the objects and you will see the whole thing now is a single group. And if we want to take some of the objects out of the group, we will right click group and then here remove from group. We will select the objects. We will hit return to finish our selection and now our group back to what it was originally. Now you might be wondering like, how do I edit what's inside a group? So to do that, basically, uh, if you remember in the status bar, we had one of the settings, which is this one. Uh, group selection. We didn't go over it because we didn't talk about group at the beginning. But once you click on that, uh, basically what happens is now AutoCAD is ignoring the groups. These objects are still grouped together, but it's showing you the individual objects. So let's say I want to change the light type of this one to be half the size like this. And then you click on that uh, icon again, and the group is selected again. And and that's how you would modify something within a group. Now, groups are pretty handy because now, for example, let's say we group all of these guys together, okay? And I'm just gonna add to the group, basically, add to group, I'll add these guys, then like this. So I would just copy this. Uh, let's say I copy it to the, to the backyard here because I know I have the same opening here and I'll hide or delete the dimensions. Uh, so you see, like we quickly were able to copy like these elements together but the thing is about the group, let's say you modify uh, this one. So let's say, let's go inside this group. I'm gonna turn off group selection. And let's say I modify this one, uh, the dashing, let's say like the dashed lines or arcs, I'm gonna change their color, for example, to red. Uh, okay, and I activate group. This one, like when I change this particular group, it doesn't actually reflect on the other group. And for that, there's a different feature in AutoCAD that allows you like to match and like to make instead of a group, you make actually a block, which is also a group, but basically it will repeat whatever you do for this group of objects here, it will repeat all across the projects. And that's the next thing we're gonna cover.